Hi there. Uh, first of all, thank you for a great cruise. I've never I've been on a lot of cruises, and this is one where I have so many things to do. I have a real hard time making up my mind. Now, yesterday I went to see Jamilton. Amazing and so crowded. And I wonder, um, as an unofficial event. Would it be possible to schedule it on the big stage if they do it in the future? And when does something go from being unofficial to official? And how does that affect things like licensing or having to pay because songs are being sung and all that type of thing? Uh, it's the performances in general in, in venues such as this one are covered under a broad license, so it's not a licensing issue so much as it is. Uh, how much money they are willing to pay me personally. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and to be clear, the vi uh, this works in performance venues everywhere. It's, the, it's not the artist who pays the license, the venue that pays a sort of blanket license for cover songs. And then it's kind of crazy the way it works, but there, there are surveys. So some people will go to clubs and see which songs are being played and sort of mark it down, and then they extrapolate. It's a, it's a terrible, inefficient system. <laughs> And uh, doesn't pay everybody who should get paid. <laughs> That's how it works. It's the venues that are in charge of paying for the, the cover licenses. That's a, just a small aside. Um, usually, we try. A little peek behind Paul's philosophy. I try to keep the main stage strictly to uh, official events, only in a sense of fairness, because there are so many unofficial events that would love to use the space and would have fun in this space, but we only have so many hours in it, there's only so many hours we can work both our and the ship's tech crew, uh, both physically and legally, uh, to overwork them. That said, we are always people, we have staff that go around and, and essentially take attendance, get a, get a sense of counts of people who are at different events, and the Jamilton is a thing that has moved from the ocean bar where it started to uh, the uh, uh, crow's nest because it is basically the next largest venue on the ship that's not, the, the largest venue besides in here that is not outdoors. Uh, and, and we're absolutely always trying to make sure that events that we have accommodate everybody who wants to attend. Uh, that is, it's certainly a consideration given the incredible popularity of that event uh, that I'll be looking into for future years. Uh, I'm, uh, I love the show, I'm a little mad at Lynn manuel Miranda because now we have this event that everybody loves, and I need to put it in a space where everybody's not crowded like Sarkin is doing it. So, uh, but thank, thank you for the comment. It is definitely a thing that we bear in mind.